All right, gentlemen, you've been with the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You're going to keep this clean. Touch gloves and let's do it. Potentially on the cusp of superstardom. First, he must get through the reigning defending champion, Stipe Miocic. Tonight's Fight Club is brought to you by Modelo Especial, brewed with a fighting spirit since 1925. And Gano in yellow out of the southpaw stance. Miocic in the black with gold, befitting a champion. Gano with high kicks to open things up. And a single leg is the key for Stipe. You got to make the big guys balance. If you make a big guy balance, you wear out the bigger man. It's exactly what DC did as well. You try to shoot double legs on Ngannou, he's got a 20 pound weight advantage over Miocic right now. So you gotta stay on the singles because it's less weight that Stipe has to carry. And it'll force Ngannou to carry his own weight. Very smart, let's see if he can put the ball into Stipe shooting twice here in the early going. Right back to the single. You gotta stay on those singles. Ngannou pushing down on the head, looking for big bombs. Shots coming in. If you pressure, you force the shot. That's what Ngano's going for. He's forcing the shot of Steve Aaron. Oh, big right hand over the top for Ngano. Just looks small in there right now against Ngano. He's got to keep moving just like this. Make him hard to hit. Exactly. Be smart about it. Good head movement by Steve Better shoot again, though. Get on that leg. Of oh, he got tagged. And uppercuts and knees are what he says he's going to use against Steve to keep him from shooting, and he just landed one. Seconds gone. Oh, oh. Big shot by Stipe over the top. Oh, that, those twos are getting awfully close. The one two of I mean, Ingrid is getting closer and closer. Ingrid is so strong. Watch for him to look for the left knee up the middle. Ingrid. I wonder if he's going to be key here for Stipe to control a bigger and Yeah, nice, nice knee to the body there by Stipe. Stipe should transition with a single the second he gets a shot. So much damage already. Yeah, a little mouse under that left eye of the champion as we hit the midpoint of this first round. It's hurt. Turn as he presses forward. Oh, good right hand by Stipe. Beautiful. Got to continue to make himself hard to hit in his first round. Weather the storm of Ngannou. Ngannou has gotten progressively less wild as his career has developed. Oh! And that was a pull two off the jab of Ngannou. Beautiful right hand by the champion. Right over the top of the jab of Ngannou. Beautiful time takedown. And this is where we see what Ngannou is made of. Side control. This is where Stipe is looking to dominate the entire fight from this position right here. And this is what we haven't seen from Ngannou. Ngannou since the Curtis back. Blades fight. He's flat on his back and now we have somebody with the technique to hold him there. In Stipe. Everybody else in Ghana's spot, he popped right up because of his athleticism. And right now, Stipe's looking for an arm lock. He's trying to set it up. And now he's got a control. And Ghana's looking for a left underhook if he wants to get back to his feet. And Ghana looks lost. He's flat on his back. Yeah, he does not seem to know what to do here. He explodes. On everybody else, he's been able to explode right up. But Stipe's making the right movements to keep him down. Mancic getting the ground. Hammer fist by the champ. Oh, he's got a guillotine. Let it go. And Ganu visibly fatigued as he gets back to his right hand by Stipe. And Ganu's loading a little too much, and now Stipe's seeing it. UFC fight time, just four minutes and six seconds. He has already surpassed that tonight. Some encouraging signs, though, for the champion for sure in this first round. 
And those uppercuts are way too close. Steve Bain's a quick duck in. Nice one, too. Beautiful. He's hurt. Goodness gracious. Steve Bain shoots again. First round. Thank you, guys. Well, it's been a whirlwind for Francis Ngannou since he knocked out Alistair Overeem back on December 2nd. Went back to Paris, France for several weeks. A lot of attention on this young contender. Incredible amount of attention, but he looks bewildered. Oh, the weight in his body that he's feeling right now is incredible. That's the first round. We call that adrenaline dump. And that's what I'm seeing in Ngannou right now is a lot of adrenaline dump. The body fills up with blood. Feel like you got weights on. Let's see if Stipe can do anything with it. Don't forget, Stipe's hurting a little too. That was no easy round for him either. No doubt. And as this round goes on, we might see Ngannou recover. But right now, he's not recovered. There was a right hand over the top by Ngannou, though. I mean, his soft punches land on. It's amazing. Doesn't even have to land flush to severely hurt the best heavyweights in the nice world. Nice teeth kick to the gut. I like that by Stephen. Keep throwing to the body, keep going to the single legs. Don't shoot double legs on Ngannou. He's too heavy, too big, and too strong. You keep the singles, you force Ngannou to be balanced. That's tough for him. Ngannou is still dangerous, but the most dangerous part is over. Until he throws another uppercut. But we've seen Stipe fight at the exact same pace for five rounds. There's a beautiful leg kick by the champ. Yeah, he's just going to touch it, Ngannou, until Ngannou's got nothing left, I think. Well, it's a smart plan. Make Ngannou miss, make him balance, touch him, pick at him, and then take him out when he's tired. That's what we're seeing from Stipe so far. Last time Stipe went into a fifth round was against Mark Hunt, a fight in which he mixed everything up beautifully, landed a UFC record 361 total strikes. And Gano is so much slower in this round, and his balance is off. When he's throwing his punches, you can see all the lactic acid build up in the adrenaline dump. He's just not moving well. That's going to make him tired, these types of scrambles. You see how he made him balance right there? That's a problem for a big guy like Ngannou. Forget about if he got the takedown or not. Oh, wee! It's just a little quicker. He's causing a lot of problems in the second round for Ngani. More composed, too. Not just quicker, but more conditioned and more composed. A guy who's been here before. That right hand is going to land soon. He's looking for it. That was a sorry kick by him, and he's lucky he didn't pay for it, Stephen. Yeah, it looks like he pulled out of it. He second-guessed it. Yeah. Marcus Marinelli, head coach of Stephen Miacic. Good shot by Miacic. And he gets Ngannou down again. Francis is in trouble here. This is a very tiring position for Francis. Two minutes. Stipe's doing a great job of making him carry his weight here as well. Just hanging on him. Yep. That's it. That's all you got to do. Just draining him. him. Yep. See the power bar going down in the, in the little bar on the bottom of the screen. Yeah, it's already in the red zone. And Stipe's just being mean now. That's what this is. This is just, go ahead. I don't care. I'm not, like, I'm not getting off of you. It's being smart. I promise Ngannou would rather Stipe punch him than do this right now. Because punching him allows Ngannou to get some release so he's not feeling all that weight. So Stipe would rather hang on and put all that pressure on him and make him carry the weight. Because if you punch Ngannou, he can get up. That's why we're seeing this position here. He's just wearing Ngannou out. Finally heard Dean warns Miocic for some more action here. Knees to the body would work well for, for Miocic. It's, a, it's amazing that Ngannou is just stuck in this spot. He's waiting for Stipe to punch him so he can explode up, and Stipe's not falling for him. Good knee to the body by Stipe. Stipe drags him easily back down to the ground. And that's what you do. Keep kneeing him to the body. He can't get up there. Hang on his head, knee him to the body if you're Stipe here. And this, this is called a, a spiral ride that we're seeing on Stipe. He's getting out from the inside of the groin with his right hand, and he's got on top of the head of Ngannou. It's an old school, just wrestling ride. 
most efficient second round here for the champion. And now he goes to a three-quarter Nelson and that keeps Ngannou's head down. And that's exhausting. It cuts the air out from your neck and your arm can't move and your, his weight's on you. It's terrible. It's interesting. Herb Dean's calling for action, but this is a smart move for Stephen. This is the perfect way to fight. And Ngannou's not trying to get up. And Stipe's very smart to hold him in this position and just keep draining him. Couldn't agree more, John. And drag him right back down easily again. And now he's on the neck. Yeah. Oh! There's the horn signaling the end of round two. It was all champion as we go back to the corner of the challenger. He is wearing it. But anybody watching Stipe Miocic's double legs, Pay attention to how he's running his feet the whole time. He doesn't stop on his knees. He gets to his feet and he runs it. That's a proper double leg, and that's what's causing problems and letting him finish it on guys like Ngannou. Well, Ngannou's style, at least to this point, is such that he expends a lot of energy and not much resistance, but able to work his way to the fence now. Stay on the single all day if you're steep -aid. And Garner's doing the right thing, he's pushing the head down. The problem is he's square with Stipe right now. Watch it, hey, turn up, turn up! All right, good. He's got to win this pummel if he's going to get off the fence. Otherwise, Stipe's going to transition back to the single, dump it, go back to the double, and put him on his butt. And Ngannou's defense is so explosive. So it relies so much on power and athleticism, and it's drained out of his system now. He's got about a round of it. And Stipe knew that. He had to weather the storm. Pay attention to the pummel battle here on the fence. This is this will dictate who wins here. Right now, underhook's winning. Underhook by Ngannou. Tried it. Too much explosion. Yeah, too much explosion. And then when he went down, he didn't immediately try to explode back up because he doesn't have the energy for it. So now he's stuck in the same position again. He's just resting. He'd rather rest because he's not getting hit. This is what Stipe needs to do. Do a little bit more damage here just to make him want to move. And now Stipe has twice as much time in this position, in theory, as he did in that second round. He's okay. He's only got three rounds in, and he knows the inevitable's coming if he keeps this up. And now with Ngannou's hand up, knees to the head are open. There's one. you got to remember, by doing this to Stipe, he also takes away the threat of the power of Ngannou when they get back to their feet if he does get away. So this is the smartest way to do it. You're looking at a very tired, giant man. <laughs> and he's, he's never experienced this before. Outside of training. Get your kids in wrestling. <laughs> and in Ghana's lone pro loss, he did go 15 minutes, but that was very early on in his career. And it wasn't against D.K. Mio. That is true. All right, back to the center here. About two and a half minutes to go in this third round of a possible five. Ngana not doing anything offensively. Just trying to survive, it would appear. The speed difference right now in this third round. Well, Stipe still has his speed. Ngana's speed has drastically been reduced. Oof. Still there. Power's still there. <laughs> Yeah, one of those lines. It's not fun. Hand hot to the head. Oh! oh that's that's right for I heard him. That's it. That's all it takes. What are those? Me and Chichwa. He shoots and lands. And that's a double leg transition. And Gano went to Wizard and he's transitioned to the knee tap. Very Steven's nice. talking to him. He said something to him when he had him down. So what did you punch me for? Miocic, four of nine on the takedowns, came in, having landed an average of just two per 15 minutes. Ngannou's just trying to explode to get up, and Stipe's just not having that. A skillful grappler like Stipe is not just going to let you explode and get up. He's going to adjust every time you explode, he's going to get a better position, and you're just going to waste the energy. The biggest difference about why Ngannou cannot explode as well is the hook of Stipe in the half guard. Yes. Now he's got him anchored to the floor right now. Stipe and Ghana has to get that leg out from half guard before he can try to dig an underhook and stand up on the fence. And Ghana's just eating punches here. He's in big trouble. He's just tired of being tired. I guarantee you he'd rather eat those shots than try to get up. It's exhausting to get up. 45 ground strikes have landed 
for one of the best ground and pound guys we have seen in this UFC heavyweight division. 45 seconds and counting in round three. And Gano just does not know exactly how to get up here. He doesn't even know his, his leg is anchored. Yeah. You see Steve get pulled that elbow out in a second. He'll grab that wrist and yank it right out. There's only so much you can learn in five minutes. And with world-class training, you can accelerate some of that, but only so much. See, without that, with that leg caught in there, he can't explode up the way he wants to. He can't be athletic. He has to deal with the problem at hand, which is the leg and then the underhook. He doesn't even know it's in there. So Ngannou did land one big right hand in that round, but a big one again for Stipe Miocic. Don't forget, both these gentlemen are completely exhausted. This is a question of who has been exhausted more times in camp, who has felt this type of exhaustion more times in their life, and that's who wins this type of battle. Well, when it comes to this kind of exhaustion and competition, Stipe's faced it. Right. He's faced it against Mark Hunt. He's faced it against Junior Dos Santos. He's been here before. And that's why he was mad that anybody gave anybody else a shot against right. him like Ngannou. That's what he's mad about, that. All right, not just in camp, but he in competition. Look at that. Side control, easy. And now in the fourth round, we're seeing a somewhat one-dimensional Ngannou. No longer has all the skills in the grappling that he does in the first round and the second round. It kind of wears down. And we got a one-sided match in the grappling round with Stipe on top. And he just doesn't seem to know what to do. I mean, when you see him on the ground, he's not, he's not scooting his hips, he's not adjusting. If anything, he should at least be on a hip, not flat on his back, right, Joe? Well, he's at least trying to get the half guard. He got the half guard, and do you think that's an advantage get, here? If he gets the underhook on the same side, but he, he doesn't have the energy to get up. See, even if he gets Stipe yeah. off him, yeah, he's, he's just drained. He's not Stipe quitting. Is just dropping bombs. He is not quitting there. No, no, I mean he's, he's not quit. He, he's, he's a exhausted. tremendous fighter. He just has not experienced this yet. And sometimes you have to go through an experience like this to turn it around and focus on the grappling and everything that goes with this complex sport. And anybody who says Stipe just hung on him, he couldn't be more wrong. He's he, draining. He's draining him. This is the worst thing. This is worse than getting punched sometimes, feeling this type of exhaustion for anybody at home who doesn't understand what Ngana's feeling. It's, it's misery. He's slamming elbows into his body, punches to his head. Now Ngana's trying to get up and Stipe won't let him. So he's getting more tired. This is when you start beating yourself because your body's so tired it doesn't want to move. You'd rather take a punch from somebody else than use your own energy to get up. But it's also, he needs so much energy to get up because he's not getting up with technique. He's just trying to muscle his way to the top and his muscles are exhausted so they're just failing. What could he do to use less muscle right here, Joe? Well, for sure, he, he's got to do something about that arm around his neck. <laughs> he's got to get out of that position. This is, I mean, he's allowing Stipe to make him carry all that weight. And if he goes down like this, for sure, he should be utilizing that half guard, trying to adjust, trying to get an underhook on the same side, and trying to either sweep or get back up to his feet. But instead, what he tries to do is just muscle his way to the top. How many heavyweights have we seen Cain Velasquez beat guys in oh. this exact position? Well, King's the master. Of this, but right? so is Stipe. Yeah, Stipe's this very is, This similar. is what we're seeing. It's the yeah. wrestling background of these two that is in common. And that's what we're seeing from these positions. How he's hooking that ankle is a problem. And then he's got the head. The way that Stipe hooks that ankle keeps Ngannou from standing up even if he wants to. He's got that hook around his ankle. It's called a, it's called a key lock. And he's got a key lock to get that ankle out. Otherwise, he's not standing up. Look at these numbers. Shots on the ground. 102 to 1. I mean, it's crazy. And every time Herb Dean has warned Stipe for more action, he has followed suit with it, thus preventing any stand-up. Ngano is still there. Look at this, but he's so tired. I mean, look at this. And now he's listening. He said, I need more power on the ground. And now he's giving it. That's what his coach has said to him. We need more power on the ground and pound. Here it is. He's throwing it hard. He's digging it in there. He's trying to get that neck. Mia 
Vucinic continuing to apply pressure with his weight, with his strikes, just over a minute to go round four. The way this Stipe is pulling that left leg of Ngannou out is a real problem. It keeps Ngannou from being able to get his hips underneath him. So now it's forcing him to spread out instead of turn into a little ball and stand back. That's a problem. Ngannou's got to get his legs inside. See how he kicks it out? It forces Ngannou to be long instead of a little ball, which is a problem. It makes it easier for Stipe to hold him down. Boston crowd getting behind the champion, Stipe Miocic, trying to slay the dragon tonight. Francis Ngannou has had no answers. I'm a little surprised that Stipe isn't trying to go for a submission. Francis is so exhausted. I feel like if Stipe took his back here, he would be able to finish him. Stipe's next submission win will be his first. I mean, this is crazy. Well, I think that this that's not his bread and butter. Right. I know it's not his bread and butter, but I know he can do it. Agreed. And he's doing it. I mean, this guy's exhausted. And it seems like Stipe's arms are exhausted, too, from the He is exhausted, but he would rather stay here because it's normal to him. Yeah. Well, is it? if it's a decision, we're looking at a dominant decision right now for Agreed. Stipe. Now, we're headed into the final round. Go for it. Yeah, you're already up four rounds to nothing. Right. I agree with you, Joe. 100%. Great cut work by House. Stipe's eye looks pretty good after five rounds of fighting. And he got cut right in the beginning of it. Yeah, and that mouse has never gotten any bigger. He's doing pretty well. They did a good job at that in the corner. <laughs> He's saying, just come here so I can stop you, please. Right. Yeah, He's just standing just let right me in front hit of you. Him. When was the last time you saw a guy in a world title fight in the fifth round that's this tired? It would have to be Junior Dos Santos versus Cain Velasquez. He did it to Stipe, did it yes. to him as well. They're very similar in their styles, Stipe and Cain. But Stipe and Junior in the first fight when it went to five rounds, Junior won. A very, very close fight. I feel like Cain in his prime was this but his cardio was otherworldly. I agree. Cardio is, is a huge thing. And Kane's cardio is just the freakiest thing I've ever seen from a heavyweight. And Donner's corner to our immediate right going crazy, trying to get some sort of activity, but Francis essentially in survival mode here with three minutes and change to go. You couldn't have mapped out a better way to fight Francis Ngannou than the way Stipe's doing it right now. Well, it was seasoned and planned and smart. Every every tactic from the single leg with your head on the outside all the way to the hanging order, all was planned out. Ngannou's looking for the finish with the guillotine. His corners were asking him to, to go for it in the third round. Huge discrepancy in terms of total strikes landed. And Gano does have four submission wins to his credit. Well, he does have a neck here, but Steve may get loose. He's doing better with the takedown defense, Gano. He's not out of this. I mean, this is the best he's looked at the takedown defense, and he didn't look like he was going to be able to defend anything after the first round. So he's actually recovered surprisingly well in this fifth round, considering how he looked in the first. Well, I think Stipe's tired as well. Right. And I think Francis is caught a little bit of a second round. Stipe's definitely tired. Yeah. It's a lot of weight he's carrying. Remember, 20 pounds is two weight classes for a smaller guy, so that's still yeah. 20 pounds of weight that Ngannou has over Stipe. That's a lot to carry. You know, and Stipe's made the argument for a 225-pound weight class that if it existed, he'd be there. Yeah. So back to the center of the octagon, and Gano puts his hands on his hips. And if you're Stipe, the clock's your friend. Yeah, he says, I'm up. Yeah, I'm waiting on you, buddy. Throw your hand on. And Francis is just sort of waiting to get that energy bar back up. Right. The body just won't do what the mind would like it to. Less than two minutes now to go. He's trying, though. Boy, it's still scary. Still got hurt. Stipe checks on the clock. Watch those uppercuts. Those are the ones that he kind of is really good at timing. Yeah, and when he pulls his hand back, you don't know if it's coming up or over. Because it's at his hips. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Nice lead. 
shot there for Miocic. 90 seconds now to go in this fight. It'll be interesting to see if Stipe is content with winning a decision or if he has the desire to try to finish it. That's interesting to me too, Joe. He could easily just get up on the numbers right now. Yeah. I think oh, he got it. I think he's got the energy to do it. Or is he just playing safe? Well, I think he probably also feels like Ngannou's the one who has to come to him if he wants to win. Absolutely. He's Agreed. way ahead. Agreed. Certainly some value in these 25 minutes for Francis Ngannou, but not as much as you would think, given that he's really just survived. But here's the question. Is Ngannou recharging here? Because he's not being pushed. So is Ngannou... Waiting getting his energy party. back up, and is it possible he can make another run? I, mean, I think if there was a chance, he'd be now for yeah. as much time as he had to rest. Yeah, and, and that punch was a little faster than some of the ones we've seen before. Well, now would be the time, 27 seconds and counting. Oh, flying knee attempt. And it looks like Stipe's gonna underhook his way to the win here. Last 15 seconds. This should do it. Stipe Miocic putting the finishing touches on a dominant mixed martial arts effort here tonight. They are standing and cheering in Boston. Stipe Miocic has survived and conquered Francis Ngannou tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest, 50-44, for the winner, by unanimous decision, and...